what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we're gonna be checking out a couple of jordan lucas's remixes that he has done some of the ones that you guys have suggested we're gonna be checking those out today this first one this is the gucci gang remix so let's go check it out man let's go let's not waste any more time let's do this Yeah. Gucci gang, Louis gang, Fendi gang, Dolce gang, Sachi gang, Prada gang, lot of gangs. I don't really fuck with no brand names. Join about to go on a rampage. Ooh. They don't want to see me let the chopper bang. Yeah. Get this bitch jumping like shopper rank. Oh, what's the little pump to a rocket flame? Yeah. Turn your pink dreads in the pocket chain. Yeah. All you new rappers on me talking about shit except doing drugs. Wonder how you got a name. Yeah. Sipping lean, take an E, perk a set, purple drinks, and next. Everything sound the same. Fuck. Bunch of drug addicts in the house of pain. Woo. Niggas suffer till you pop a van, yo. This should make your mother wanna ovulate, yo. This should make a duckers wanna stop a train. Get you spend the Louis product. Hold on a second, is this like, is he going at Umba rappers? Because that's pretty much all they do, you know what I'm saying? Like, take drugs and tats on their face. Like, that's pretty much all they do. They all follow each other. Uh, what are they? What are they? Uh, 6 9 um, I, I, I can't even name these dudes because they're not work my time my brain cells they're just they're not <laughs> they're not work my brain cells man you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah I, I, I know it's six nine because he snitched on everybody he was all over the internet so i know about him um i think little pump little zan i think is one of them it's like you hear these names in passing and you hear the name and you're like okay that's a mobile rapper <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know what i mean Oh my god. You speak the truth at all. I'm to a rocket flame, yeah. yeah. Turn your pink dreads in the pocket chain. Yeah. Mm. All you do rappers on me talking about shit except doing drugs. Wonder how you got a name. Yeah. Mm. Sipping lean, take an E, perk a set, purple drinks, and next. Everything sound the same. Fuck. Bunch of drug addicts in the house of pain. Woo. Hope you niggas suffer till you pop a van. Yeah. This should mm. make your mother wanna ovulate. Yeah. This should make a duckers wanna stop a train. Get you spend the loot and don't you? Back when I was broken, no one know me. I couldn't afford it, and now that I got the money, I don't even want this shit because it ain't for me. Ooh. I always been myself, you don't know me. Whoa. Yeah, I was so depressed, I was lonely. <laughs> the man on the horse, all I had was Ralph Lauren, and I went inside a deal and bought a pony. Whoa. Yeah, I'm taking it back, and then I'm smacking you bitches and laughing at Hold on a second, Joyner. Bef before you go off, bro, you're not going to give us no. You're not going to drop some that polo bar. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to drop no polo bar, and then, and then, and then you know. Go speed it up with you mad at a day go by a pony. Yeah, I was so depressed, I was lonely. Mm. The man on the horse, all I had was Ralph Lauren, and I went inside a deal and bought a pony. Mm. Yeah, I'm taking it back and then I'm smacking you bitches but the still, last minute. But hey man, don't be don't be talking about polo like that though, because polo be expensive, bruh. Polo is not a cheap brand. I mean, you know, regular people can't can't afford it, but it's it's still pretty expensive. You know what I'm saying? For like, I would say, I would say Polo is, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're making a certain amount of money, like middle class, you know what I'm saying? Polo is like, you know, up in that $100, $200 range, you know, you know, a little under $100 is $70, $80 for a shirt for, um, for Polo, men's Polo. So... Or Ralph Lauren, which is a totally different situation. I mean, it's just, it's the same brand, but you know, for women, you know, um, you know, it's it's, it's all right, <laughs> it, you know. So I don't see the hate, you know. What I'm saying don't don't hate on it because I wear polo every now and then, you know. what I'm saying like, yeah. So, but this dude is like went out and bought the pony. <laughs> I'm hacking in the center, your body right back to them. You wonder what's happening, I'm flipping new syllables, acronyms. Oh, no, let's pull that back. And in the center, your body right back oh, to them. Oh, no. Pull it back. And I went inside a deal and bought a pony. Whoa. 
Yeah, I'm taking it back and then I'm smacking you bitches and laughing and I'm killing them hacking and I'm sending your body right back to them. You wonder what's happening? I'm flipping new syllables, acronyms. I guess I'm a practice and you fuckers are fucking embarrassing. You ain't gonna be happy when I'm on top and I'm gonna be popping or you gotta be dropping like birds dropping all on your conscience. All you niggas are watching, I'm spitting, slapping all on your coffin. I'll repeat, you lost and you fucking sleeping, your pillow talking. Mm. You dream all day, that's per year. Oh, all yeah. your whole niggas in your purse here. Purse, yeah. I'm your favorite rapper's worst fear. Why? Raised in the mud, crying dirt tears. Whoa. Just a bunch mm. of kids in the high chair. Couldn't get Raised in the mud, crying dirt tears. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard right there. That's hard. Rappers were fair. Raised in the mud, crying dirt tears. Whoa. Just a bunch of kids in a high chair. Couldn't get a buzz even if you had light here. Wouldn't get a buzz mm. even if your heart's right here. Come on, bro. Couldn't get a buzz even if you had light here, nigga. <laughs> oh my come on. Join her. Ah. Uh. Your favorite rapper's worst fear. Why? Raised in the mud, crying dirt tears. Whoa. Just a bunch of kids in a high chair. Couldn't get a buzz even if you had light here. Wouldn't get no love even if your heart's right here. Niggas got guns, so nobody want to fight fair. No. Hit him with the Ric Flair and the suplex. I ain't never been scared, but you're ruthless. Whoa. Raised by the ghetto, no some games that'll get him. Split him right down the middle like a fucking duplex. Bring a nigga toes, make him do the two step. Crib full of hoes, now I feel like you have. Got a bad stripper bitch. All we do is have sex, and she loves sucking dick, so I call her loose neck. Whoa. Making a panic with my shit, and I'm flipping the bandages. I'm ready to handle and dismantle and crushing and vanishing. I hit him and slam him in the walls, and I got him enchanted in my fucking hands, and I'm holding him and banging the sand and killing him in the ambulance. They're dying, they bleeding, they traveling. I'm really sick, and I got him stiff as a fucking mannequin. I paint a picture with Castle Vision all on my cellophane. I got a swing and they on my dick and grabbing my pants again. I own a dog, but I ain't single. I ain't Spanish, but I know the lingo. Atlantic told me that my flow 100, but my album ain't coming unless I got a fucking single. Mm. Well, I don't give a fuck about no hair record. I'ma just remix y'all shit and get big off it. I'ma just murder every motherfucking beat while I'm dreaming. Get paid in my motherfucking sleep. God damn. Woo. Gucci gang, Louis gang, Fendi gang, Dolce gang, Sachi gang, Prada gang, lot of gangs. Whoa. I don't really fuck with no brand names. Join about to go on a rampage. Ooh, they don't wanna see me let the chopper bang. Whoa. Get this bitch jumping like chopper rank, yeah. What's a little pump to a rocket flame? Woo. Gucci gang, Fendi gang, Prada gang, yeah. Whoa. All you new rappers don't talk about shit except doing drugs. Wonder how you got a name, huh? Sipping lean, take a E, pocket set, purple drinks, and next. Everything sound the same. Fuck. Bunch of drug addicts in the house of pain. Bruh. And all you niggas suffer till you pop a van, huh? Gucci gang, Fendi gang, Prada gang. Woo. I don't really fuck with no brand names, yeah. yeah. That was hard. Joyner Lucas is is one of those artists from the couple of songs that I've heard from him. I did, you know, um, I'm Not Racist, the couple, um, Isis, I think. Um, from what I can hear, he's a very conscious, conscious rapper. And the reason why I say conscious rapper is, be, is because he's awake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's awake. He's not woke, but he's awake. You know what I'm saying? Like, in Jamaica, we have this saying where we talk about conscious lyrics, right? And the reason why we say conscious lyrics is because it's um, it's lyrics that it's awakened. You know what I'm saying? It's to wake up the people who are sleeping. Wake up the fans. You know what I'm saying? And basically, um, from what I've heard from him so far, he's talking about stuff for the most part from what I've heard. You know what I'm saying? He's not a guy who's who's going to just flex on you on a song. He's going to teach you something along with what, with, you know what I'm saying? He's going to teach you something along the way. Not just, yes, he had some flex bars on on ISIS, right? He has some flex bars on ISIS. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I believe that if you make it, you should talk your shit, period talk your shit if you made it um but that's why i said i don't have no problem with rappers talking about the women the cars and all of that stuff but if that's all you are about if you, there is no substance to your music ever you get what i'm saying then i don't want to listen to you because if that's what it's going to be that's going to get boring real quick you get what i'm saying that's why so many rappers have come and gone. They fizzled out because all they had is one hit talking about hoes or something like that. <laughs> or something of the sort. You know what I'm saying? Booty bumping or some stuff like that. That's why there's certain people that you can see that they're really talented, but they they keep themselves into this box. You get what I'm saying? Example, 
uh, uh, artist like t um is it Tyga or Tiga <laughs> whatever but I think he's signed to um to Young Money if I'm I, I'm not sure but he's one of those artists that I think could be so much better he could be um a, a artist that you actually can listen to but every song he comes out with is always booty bumping it's like he just feels like all he can do is club music because he's really talented you hear the bars within his music but it's just that it's like the only thing he feels like he can do is club music is you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like it's just so weird to me when I hear him come up with a new song and it's always the same thing. It's like he, he enclosed himself into this box and that's all you know him for. Because he got bars. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's just what it is. And, and for Joyner, I feel like he's like a unicorn in the game right now, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? It's refreshing to know that someone is out here trying to teach kids lessons you know, kind of telling them, hey, y'all don't need to listen to these mumble rappers because all they're talking about is drugs. That's all they flex about. That's all they talk about. You get what I'm saying? And then you see them dying and everybody's feelings, everybody's feeling sorry for them and everybody's sending up prayers and all of this other stuff. And, and it's like, OK, but when they were screaming that they need help in their music, y'all wasn't listening. You get what I'm saying? Y'all was not listening. These guys are out here crying for help, and y'all and y'all be like, "Oh, let me follow, let me follow what they're saying," instead of trying to help them. You get what I'm saying? So, and, and then when they die of whether it's drug overdose and all of this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like the world is like, "Oh my God, no!" I, I. It's it's hard not to tell people not to live in a world of regret. But that's really what it is. You're living in a world where you're expecting regret. You get what I'm saying? When we're not actively and proactively trying to do things about this problem, because it is a problem with the with the mumble rappers. It's the same thing over and over again. I mean, it's not going to become an epidemic, but the fans need to pay attention if you're a fan of these guys and their rap it's not about holding up money to your ear it's about these guys come on and you can obviously see that they're on drugs and stuff like that and nobody is trying to reach out to these these guys their fans are not getting on there and be like dude you need to get sober this is not cool but they don't care they follow follow um they follow suit and they go do drugs too so yeah but I'm glad that somebody like like Joyner is out here, man, just doing his thing and trying to teach people to, to do the right thing in his music, talking up against them uh, and letting them know that what you're doing is not cool because it's not good for the generation either. It's not good for them. You know, some uh, some young girl, she was like, I, I don't know how old she is, but she basically said whole is life. I was like, I was blown away by this statement. This three letters, this three word statement that she said, she said, ho is life. And I'm not talking about someone who's out there on the, sh on the street or whatever the situation is. But she literally said that to me. It's like posting a picture on Instagram is way more important than connecting with somebody who's right beside you. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in as always. I will catch you guys later. Remember to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Bye.